Uh, stable coins are, as we know, only a few years old. We know most Americans have never bought one. Commercials in Silicon Valley just tell us stable coins are an innovation. Um, I want to be clear, though, Madam Undersecretary, about the stakes here. How important is it we act now to regulate stable coins before they can hurt our economy? How, how could stable coins hurt working families if Congress and regulators don't rein in the risks of these products? Thank you for your question, Senator Brown. Um, as I mentioned, the crypto, the digital asset market is growing very rapidly. Um, the fundamental change is this new innovation that can allow for new provision of financial services and could radically change the way financial services are provided. This provides a lot of benefits, could bring efficiencies, especially to the payment system and when we're speaking of cryptocurrencies. It also raises some of the concerns, of course, that you raised earlier on illicit finance, tax evasion, fraud. So it's important to address those issues. Um, my view is given these risks and the growth of the market, it's important for regulators and policymakers to take some actions to protect users um, and ensure the resilience of the financial system. Stable coins are a subset of this digital asset space, um, the prospect of stable value gives them the potential to be used at, for payment transactions, a store of value, a medium of exchange. That raises a different set of risks. They have the ability to provide payments on 24 seven, um, to inc reduce the costs of payments in a substantive way. I think it has the potential to be part of the future payment system. So I think it is important um, to assess the stability of stable coins. Are they stable? Can they provide the services that they um, offer themselves to? The Secretary of the Treasury convened the PWG to evaluate whether they can be stable and to address whether this new product has an adequate regulatory framework. And um, the PWG report recommended that there should be additional um, authorities provided to regulators for this product. Thank, thank you. They, the stablecoin companies assure us they're transparent. They tell us they follow the law. They even say they like to say they're built on trust. But of course they say that. They want to suggest if you buy stablecoins with dollars, your dollars will be safe. And you'll be able to exchange stable coins back for dollars without a problem. Madam Undersecretary, is there any risk that people with stable coin won't always be able to exchange stable coin for dollars? If so, do these companies make that clear to consumers? Um, I, there is risk that stable coins cannot deliver dollar. This, this is the, they, ought, they say they're stable coins. The assets backing the stable coins may not be able to deliver a dollar under stress periods. And in fact, if you look at stable coins, they um, do fluctuate. Um, in addition, there's issues around redemption, um, as well as um, there could be fees that are, may not be disclosed. So I do think there are features of stable coins that create run risk, which is the first risk that the PWG report um, and are they, are those are those companies informing potential purchasers of stable coin that there is that risk? Um, they are not required to by any regulators because they are not regulated. understand that, but are they doing that? Um, Your experience? So there are, there are probably 50 or 60 different stable coins at this point in time. Um, I imagine the practices vary quite a bit. I think it's worth your knowing that the answer to that are, are most of them, if there are 50 or 60, do they, do they disclose the risk at all? I, it's just, I'm not asking right now. I am asking right now, but I yeah. think it's something important to know. Last question. For a long time in this country, we've prevented commercial companies from partnering with financial companies. We've, in some ways, we've built a wall between the two. There have been reports that companies like Walmart might think about issuing a stable coin. Is anything right now stopping Amazon or Walmart or another big company from starting their own stable coin? And if so, are there, what are the risks if they do that? So currently, I don't believe because stable coin issuers um, are 
licensed by state money transmitter requirements, there is nothing that pr stops a commercial company from wanting to issue a stable coin. Um, the PWG proposal for an IDI for the issuer would preclude a commercial company from being an issuer. Um, the PWG recommendations also are to consider whether, for Congress to consider whether the custodial wallet providers or other service providers related to the stablecoin arrangement could be commercial or should be limited to financial. But this is an issue that Congress, um, the separation of banking and commerce has been a long, has been an issue that has, Congress has grappled with over many times in different periods. And this is another area where it should, um, it should, it's an area for them to consider carefully. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Senator Toomey. 